All right, Yuki, this is the promised tutorial about how to go about using OnSong as a chord management application on your iPad or Android tablet. I'm going to use the word iPad to cover all of those just to make it easy. All right, so the first thing you are going to need is to have OnSong installed. You can buy it from the App Store if you just search for OnSong. Uh, on the App Store. Let's have a quick look. I think it's about eight dollars. On song search. There it is. It doesn't tell you how much it is because I've already got it installed, but you can find it easily uh, on the App Store or the Android Store um, by searching for OnSong. You're also going to want to have Dropbox installed uh, and a Dropbox account set up. If you go to dropbox.com, uh, D-R-O-P-B-O-X.com, set up a username and password uh, and then install the Dropbox um, uh, app on your iPad. Looks a bit like that. Uh, and have it set up and ready to go. Okay, so you're going to need that set up as well. You're also going to need to send me an email once that's done to ask to share the Uke East folder. And I will uh, get an email sent to you from Dropbox, uh, which you then click and it will automatically appear in your Dropbox file structure on your computer, your Mac, your iPad, your phone, whatever you've set it up on. Okay, so you need to do those things before you need to have OnSong installed, you need to have Dropbox installed, an account set up, and the UKEAST folder shared. Once you've done all that, you go to OnSong. Uh, you can see I've got like hundreds of songs installed here. You won't see uh, anything except the welcome page. Um, you might see something like this. This songs menu top left, uh, up at the top left there, is where all the magic happens. Um, you'll find uh, that's uh, what you use all the time. But the f so the first thing you do is f if you tap in the middle of the page, the top menu comes up. So just tap in the middle of any page and that comes up. Click on songs and then what I'm going to get you to do is click the little plus down at the bottom right of the window that's appeared. You see the plus down there? So click on that plus. Then you'll see several menus. Um, most of those I never use and I don't know or don't care what they do. Some of them are for religious song importing like Rocking with the Cross. Um, anyway, what we're interested in is the import menu and we're interested in the Dropbox menu here. So number one, two, three, four, five down the, in the import menu, which is a second block. Click on Dropbox. It will go to your Dropbox app. It will ask you to allow access from OnSong to Dropbox. Click Allow. It authorizes it. And then your Dropbox file structure will show. I have a lot of Dropbox folders. You may have more, you may have less. You should at least have, down the bottom here, UK Club Nights on Song folder. That's the one that you want. You should probably set up, you can set up another one called On Song of your own, where you drag uh, song sheets, access that folder. It's a good way to get songs onto your iPad uh, and into On Song. That's an easy way to do it. So, what you're doing is clicking on the UK Club Nights On Song. Um, and then I'd suggest you start with the back catalogue, go to the individual back catalogue folder, then select all. Just click the bottom, at the very bottom here, select all, and then top right, import. If you click import, it will suck all those down. It'll take a long time, it might take half an hour, it might take an hour, depending on your Wi-Fi. But give it time, you'll see the percentage thing going up, and that will populate on song um, with all of those songs on your iPad. Okay, so it will fill them up. Uh, I'll come back to importing from Dropbox in a minute when we're going to do um, song sets, but that will flood your iPad with all those songs once you, you go into, um, so I'll do that once more, go to songs, oh sorry, let's go back, okay, okay, so it looks like this, you go to plus, you go to songs, you go to the plus, you go to Dropbox, you go to the UK folder, to the one that you want. You either select individual ones, which you can do like this, or deselect, okay, just by clicking on them. Uh, or you can go to select all, and indeed deselect all down the bottom here. I'm touching both of those, okay. And then you hit import once you've got all that you want, top right and blue, all right, and it will import them all in. And then 
it will look something like this. Okay, 